If you sign a lot of documents using the Foxit Reader, you might want to import your digital ID into the Windows Certificate Store. This will keep you from having to enter your password every time you sign a document. In order to do this, you'll first of all want to make a backup copy of your certificate file. This is very important. You'll want to go ahead and copy the file, in this case I've stored it on the desktop, and save it with a new name. I might call this, uh, for example, permanent copy. Now in the next step, we'll go ahead and open up Foxit Reader, and we'll remove the digital ID that we created a minute ago. Go to Digital IDs, Joe Smith, remove the ID, yes. We'll go ahead and put in the password there. Now I can close the Foxit Reader. Notice the copy that we just had is gone. Now we'll go ahead and open up the Windows Certificate Manager. Um, you can search for it or you can just click on start, right click on start, run, and type cert cert mgr.msc and press enter. Now that opens up the Certificate Manager. You can go under Personal, go to Certificates, right click, All Tasks, Import. Next, we'll go ahead and browse for this file. Choose uh, Personal Information Exchange. There you can see that permanent copy. Next, put in the password. Next, next, and finish. Now you can see we've successfully imported uh, the Joe B. Smith uh, digital ID into Windows. Now when we open up the Foxit Reader, we should have the option to sign as Joe Smith without, creating, without entering a password. So I'll simply go to Protect, Sign and Certify, Place Signature, see if we can sign this blank document. Notice, Sign as Joe B. Smith. It does not ask for a password at this point. And I can just simply click Sign, and it will sign it. Save, and there we go. Now sometimes uh, what happens is uh, if the Windows Credential Store gets reset, you might lose access to that digital ID, in which case at this point uh, you might be unable to sign, or it might sign but leave this box as a purple color. Uh, when you click on this box, it should say the signature is valid, but it's possible that it might show you that the signature is invalid at this point. If that's the case, you'll need to remove and re-import your digital ID using the exact same steps. You'll just go to your uh, Start menu, Run, Certificate Manager, let that open up, go to Personal, Certificates, simply remove your certificate and re-add it following all the same steps that we did just a moment ago.